guys welcome back to another video so for today's video as you can tell i'm gonna be doing a faded get ready with me um if you can't tell um, i am faded not a lot but we're getting there but yeah i know i haven't posted in a while i keep taking these long ass breaks but today i'm going through it so today we're gonna make a youtube video and yeah i'm gonna help you bitches out on an updated makeup routine my eyes look so light today, but anyway, okay, we gotta get started. So, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what I use as my skincare routine. Um, my camera quality is not that good, because I'm using my phone. But, I'm telling you guys, these products, oh my god, they make your skin look like glass. So, first I go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Eye Cream. Always need an eye cream in that one. It's really good. And then I use the Sun Touchable Woe Glow by e.l.f. This stuff is so good, and it's tinted. Then I go in with the Charlotte Magic Serum. And then the Glow Recipe Dew Drops and the Moisturizer Drops or whatever. Yeah, I already did all of that besides the Dew Drops, so I'm about to do that right now. And then we can start. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the base. I'm going to show you guys how I get my skin to be so moisturizing and hydrating looking with just these four products. The first product I use, I just use this because it really smooths out my pores and helps my skin look smooth. I use this Master Prime by Maybelline and I just apply it on my basically T-zone. Next I'm going in with the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. Um, I don't really tell a difference with this one. I mean, it plumps my skin, I guess, so that's why I use it. But it does hydrate the skin. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to start on my eyebrows. But I'll show you guys the next primers I use once I'm done with my eyebrows. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I use the Morphe Dip Brown in shade Chocolate Mousse. I think this is next to the darkest shade because my eyebrows are pretty dark. I'm sorry if you guys can hear a fly. There's literally this big ass fly flying around my room. Also, my mirror is going to be right here. And if it's in the way, I'm sorry, but I'm blind. I'm basically following the underneath of my eyebrow. And it's okay if you like mess up or get outside the lines a little bit because we are going to conceal them. Not that you have to, but it's how I do my eyebrows. I do kind of arch my eyebrows a little bit. I feel like my eyebrows look best arched. I'm sorry if my camera quality is like not the best. I literally need a whole new phone. And then now I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. Not at the front though. Maybe a little. That's what I do. Okay, so then once my eyebrows look like this, they most of the time don't look like sisters. They look like cousins, but that's fine. I take another spoolie and then basically just buff up the front into a faded kind of look. So that the lines aren't as harsh. Like that. So you can see it looks messy, but we're going to clean it up with some concealer. The concealer I use is the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Snow. And I'm using this Morphe brush that's like this. Um, I can't see the style because I got these a while ago in the James Charles collection. And then I just lightly follow basically the shape I want my eyebrow to be. So this is what my eyebrows look like after I conceal them. Sometimes I'll do the top, but I'm not today because I'm literally like. But anyway. Okay, so moving on to primer. I'm going to go in with this primer first. It's the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. And I like to use this because it really hydrates my skin before I use makeup. I was going to do eyeshadow today, but 
I don't think I am. I think I just want to go with like a pretty liner. So next I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And honestly, if you ask me, I feel like the e.l.f. primer is way better than this. Um, I think it's more sticky. But I did spend $40 on this, so... That's the least you get used, girl. Sometimes I'll add like a second coat of this, but I'm not going anywhere with makeup, so... So guys, I've updated my makeup routine and I have gotten a lot of new makeup, but the one thing I will still keep using is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I love this stuff. Honestly, I sometimes will even use this without like foundation. But I am going to use it today just to give my foundation an underglow, if that makes sense. And then I just blend it out with a beauty blender. And as you guys know, like, I don't have a TV or nothing in my room, so I can't even play music. But I definitely think I want to get an iPad or something. That way I can. So then I go in with the Makeup by Mario foundation in the shade... 11N. Um, this foundation shade is definitely a little lighter than I'd like it to be, but we're still gonna use it because this was $50. So, I love this foundation though, it's so pretty. And if you guys want to like keep up more on me with like the makeup and tutorials and everything. Follow my TikTok, which will be in the description, because I do a lot more of tutorials on there just because they're so much easier to, like, edit. And you mainly don't even have to edit them, but it's way easier than a YouTube video, which I still like to post on YouTube, but it's just a lot less work. So now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Concealer in the shade Magic Touch 8. I love this concealer. Scratch that, guys. No, we're not. Um, we're going to go in with the bronzing first. I always mess that up. But I used the Sculpting Take Contour by Tarte in the shade Soft Bronze. And I love this stuff as well. Because it doesn't leave harsh lines after you contour. So, I love that. Then I'm just going to take this brush that's from Eco Tools. I got this at Walmart. And then I just blend it out and it blends so easily now we're gonna go in with blush i use the charlotte tilbury pillow talk in the shade pillow talk i think yeah i think pillow talk and it actually exploded everywhere so it's all over the top but i literally love the color of this i think it's so cute I'm just going to blend that out the same brush. I wish y'all could see my skin in person right now. The way all of these products, like, blend so good together is crazy. So much things have happened since the last time I posted. Like, right now, there's literally a submarine in the ocean missing with people inside. By the time I post this, I don't know what the news will be, but that's crazy. Now we're going to go in with the Anastasia Concealer. I love this stuff, like I said. I think it's so good. I haven't been loving my makeup, like... I feel like the pictures I look at back at from last summer, like my makeup was so good and I feel like it's not the same anymore and it makes me sad. So most of the time, I literally hate my makeup and it's so, like I hate it. I hate hating my makeup. I think it's because I go out more so I try harder on my makeup. Because if I'm, like, staying home and not doing anything, I will literally not try to do my makeup and it will come out better than it looks when I do try. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose really quick with that bronzing 
stick I use. I always do this after concealer because I go in with another concealer and that one will really help carve out the nose contour if that makes sense. I like to contour my nose like a button nose. I wish my nose was a button nose, but it's definitely not. So now I'm going in with that Too Faced Born This Way concealer and adding a tiny bit. I don't love using this concealer anymore just because I feel like it's a really matte. And when I use the Anastasia concealer, it's very hydrating. And I don't think my skin works really well with um, matte products. And then there's the concealer. I like to bake right after um, concealer so it doesn't crease. I use the setting powder by Beauty Bakery, I think. Um, I got this at Target and it's really good. So I'm going to blend out those creases again and then set right after I literally love this powder and then I basically just leave the leftover powder that I put onto my hand and cover the rest of my face and that's the powder part. So now I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This stuff is literally so good. But I feel like when I use powders, I don't do as good as I would like to. I don't know. But I think I'm learning, so. I watched an old video of... Kylie Jenner getting her makeup done by her makeup artist. And I feel like that helped some, but not a lot. So I'm, I love, 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 love this um blush. I feel like I've tried Juvia's Place's blushes. I don't like them. I feel like this blush is my perfect shade of blush in powder form. And I don't even know the brand. It's from Target, and I got it a long time ago, but you guys know from my past videos, I absolutely love this blush. And I feel like I can't find another one that is this type of shade. The Pillow Talk is this shade, but it's liquid, so. So I'm going to carve out the bottom of my cheeks really quick, which they don't even really need it. But I'm going to anyway. I did get the um, Charlotte Tilbury highlight stick too. And this stuff is so pretty on the skin. But I always use it so late. Like after my powders. But I still love the way it looks on the skin. And then I'm going to take the Rare Beauty Highlighter. This is in the shade Accelerate. Accelerate. I'm going to use a Morphe brush and just pour that over the highlight that I used. The Rare Beauty Highlight is literally like that highlight. So guys, I'm going to set my face really quick with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Honestly, I don't even know if I would recommend this because I forget to see what my makeup looks like after I set my face and after the day's over. So don't ask me about if it's good. So next is eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula um, Waterproof Eyeliner. But before I do that, I'm going to put on some lip injection, lip plumper. This stuff's so good before makeup and it helps me get a good plump before eyeliner. 
my lip liner. So I'm just gonna do my eyeliner how I usually would. I've gotten into this eyeliner stage that I can't seem to get out of. I always, usually I'm good with lining my eyeliner out for the left and the right, but there's sometimes where I fuck it up, like right now. So that's how I do my eyeliner. Definitely not sisters, but. Oh, also, you guys. I did a dumb thing last night at like 12 a.m. Last minute decision type thing. And pierced my tongue. And let's just say, I don't think I would ever do it again. Um, if you know from past videos, I pierced mainly everything that I have pierced besides my first holes. So, when I did this, I was not afraid. And then I wake up at 3 a.m. and it was literally hutting. Guys, I just remember my freaking lash glue is in my boyfriend's car and we're arguing right now, so I can't even get it. Um, these lashes are from Sheen but I don't know the style. So sorry about that, but they just look like this. But they're so pretty. And while I let those dry, I'm gonna do mascara really quick. Use the Essence Voluminous Mascara. Not a lot though, because my eyes already have eyeliner. I'm gonna take this NYX eyeliner thing and put it in my upper waterline. Cause it does help sometimes. I'm gonna do lips really quick too. I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner in the shade Ambition Statement. I like the name of that. And I'm going to take off the residue of this lip gloss. My lipstick is in the car too. Sorry if I like talking a country accent. Me and my friends do it. So I've kind of just gotten used to that. And then for lips, I guess I'm just going to use this NYX lipstick, lipstick in the shade Abu Dhabi. I haven't even done my hair yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put on lashes really quick. He just left. I don't know where. He thought I was at the gym. I told him I was going to the gym. And my mom was taking me. And my mom just left to go to the store. And he just stopped by my house and then left. So he probably thinks I'm gone. So basically, this is my makeup routine, guys. Um, I'm going to add some bottom mascara. But yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did... Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want more. Make sure to follow my TikTok because I do post a lot more on there too. And yeah, I love you guys.